Hurry, magician. Take the mana gemstone to the Night came in Celestial Bow upon the Malachite Giant. From our understanding, it will transform you and make you ascend to the stars. Good luck. To slot the mana gemstone into place, the whole area rocks with a deep vibration accompanied by a strong scent of ozone. The comet does look bigger and meaner, but the statue's eyes seem to angrily track it across the sky. You're about to enter a dungeon. You continue to evolve. I have no idea how you got up here, but you are too late! The Shadow Queen has chained the oldest ghosts, these Lords of Night. No, the Song of Creation, which they will teach her. Now, let me teach you a Song of Armageddon.
Cursed wizard! I didn't want to miss a thing! Magician, we have been bound to this obsidian fire mirror. Free us of our chains, let us return to our everlasting rest. Anyone have followed us here? You have our august gratitude. You wish to confront the Shadow Queen at the center of her web? But to reach her, you will need to defeat her potent barriers. Perhaps a shard of the obsidian fire mirror you smashed might. You look through the obsidian fragments and find a razor-edged shard imbued with the mirror's power. The obsidian fire shard slices across the frost web like the proverbial hot knife through butter. Wizard, you face the ultimate scream queen! I'm going to throw down with you and make it look good!
Magician, release us from our chains. A second obsidian mirror smashed? Someone is introducing dissonance to my song. We are grateful, Magician. The Shadow Queen promised an eternity of discord and pain, caged in our tortuous choir. Those of us she captured are the oldest creatures of the spiral. We heard the first notes of the song, and... Wait, no, no, no! Aye! In the ruins of this obsidian mirror, you unearth another razor-edged shard, this time crackling with the power of storm. The obsidian storm shard blows out the flame web, scattering the embers into the cold sky above the comet. Mm. 
magician. I will weep for your memory. It is time for this day to die, and a new one to be born out of blood and shadow. Oh, <laughs> 
For me, Azteca! Save us! Time is slipping away! The young wizard is coming. You'll have to deal with it. It will be my pleasure. What has happened? Are the others free? Is the Shadow Queen still loose and hungry? It will be. The time is almost upon us. Shebal comes to devour the world. Great Spirit, save us! There is no escape! Too late! She pulls us! No! The rubble of this obsidian mirror contains a brutally cold, razor-edged ice shard. The obsidian ice shard freezes the thunderweb into a fragile snowflake. It shatters into a thousand pieces, opening up before you. Greetings, young wizard. Have you come to congratulate me? <laughs> what? You think you stopped my ritual? <laughs> you little fool! The spell was complete before you set foot on Shabalba. Azteca's time is done. The comet will strike! I mastered the magic of Celestia to manipulate the comet to my own ends. The mirror broke, the horn called, and now the sky falls. There's no way to stop it, or destroy it, or change its course. I made sure of that by having my forces delay you down below. It's time for me to return home to the Shadow Web to construct my celestial choir. It will be beautiful and magnificent. I almost want to spare you to let you live and see what is coming. However, there is someone who wishes to meet you. Young wizard.
I had nearly forgotten how much I despise you. Now that I lay eyes upon you again, my fury is a black hole of rage, swallowing the light of a thousand dying suns. Goodbye, young wizard. Don't worry. I'll lie to Meryl Ambrose and tell him you died well.
and returned more powerful than ever. I will take you apart and reassemble you as a wretched thing to be pitied and feared by every living being in the spiral. Malastare teleports to the center of the dual circle, ready to unleash his full power against you. The land lurches and heaves beneath your feet. The sound thrums into your bones. The hunk of rock Malastare stands upon breaks away, hurtling into the darkness of the spiral. <laughs> have no words. You come to us now at the end. Our days become hours. Our hours, minutes. Every minute is one lost lifetime. The sky is fire, but I can see the moon clearly now. In my mind's eye. Full and bright, protective as our mother. Some few of us will survive, perhaps. But our world will be gone to fuel the dark heart of the Shadow Queen. Return to Wizard City and tell your people what transpired here. Help us live on in memory and keep our story pure. Use our tale to inspire an army of light to challenge the Shadow.
not believe these things to be true. To Headmaster Ambrose at once! Hello, wizard. Were you successful in overcoming the shadow over Azteca? Oh, my. Your tail numbs my heart. Morganth has grown more powerful than I could have imagined. But do not lose heart, my child. Even death is not the end. The good people of Azteca have fallen beneath the fire and shadow, yes, but all is not lost. No, all is not lost at all. We will remember their sacrifice. We will tell their stories in the dark of the night, for warmth and for courage. And soon enough, dawn will break. As the sun rises on a new day, the shadow must recede. Young wizard, go and prepare yourself while I rally the forces of light. Uh, we m Ah, my dear young wizard, you are well rested, I hope, from your last ordeal. It is long past time we dealt with Morganth. We must rally the forces of light. Sadly, the council is reduced to only Diego, the Emperor of Mushu, Lydia Grey Rose, and myself. I need your aid. For you have forged a robust relationship with many defenders of light. Travel to Savaria and convince the mystic in younger white stripes to join the Council of Light. Then go to Avalon and find King Artorius in the Knight's Hall. Tell him his might is needed once again. While you carry these messages, I will send Diego to ruined Azteca to call upon Princess Zinzen Seventh. Deliver your messages and then return here at once. Travel to Safaria to invite...